Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Special Hobby, it comes in 170 second scale and here we have a Kitty Hawk Mark IV, so this particular edition is named as a over the Mediterranean and the Pacific and the kit number is SH72484, so this is the commercial sample, this is the new boxing of this aircraft and it will be interesting to see which markings are included and if we get some extra bonuses maybe here because this kit is present on the market for some time but it is considered as a one of the best of the kits in a 170 second scale if you would like to copy this particular aircraft type and of course we reviewed the previous editions as well so that's why it is interesting to add this one into our collection of the video reviews and this is the final shape so you'll get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and the box size should be familiar to you if you've already uh, bought one of the war hoax or kitty hoax from special hobby so here is comparison with my hand and we have really nice box art here uh, next on the side here we have uh, suddenly we have two uh, marking guides or um, profiles for the options which will be available here but of course I hope that we will get more and here on the other side we have some safety information and QR code for the kit info page so this is a top opening box and here is what we get inside as you can see there is plenty of space inside so I really doubt that any parts will arrive damaged to you we have assembly menu on the top and we have all of the parts uh, packed into the same plastic bag so we will be opening them one by one and checking them as usual uh, just to see what we get here so just give me a second it's a resealable plastic bag so it should be quite quick and we will start with gray plastic and then gradually we will move on to the other components because we have two more plastic bags here so first of all we start with the Spizovich house they will be needed for today's version so I will zoom in as much as I can so that you can see what we are talking about here overall design still stayed the same so we have the tail fin promoted on the left fuselage half as you can see we have also the cooling parts promoted so that's the area where you have to be careful because it might be uh, really easy to get some ugly gaps in this area just because you cut the part in a wrong way or maybe you glued it in the wrong way but from what I saw uh, the final result usually looks completely fine we also get the um, really good external features here it means recess panel lines and rivets are present where they have to be and for 170 second scale this is even better so here you can see the comparison with my fingertip this is not a huge aircraft model this is 170 second scale kit after all and if i flip it over here inside we get the guiding pins and by the way here you can see this tail fin which will work as a guiding element and uh, no cockpit elements whatsoever because cockpit will be assembled separately and then inserted into this fuselage halves but still quality looks really great and I don't think you will have any issues during assembly as well just pay attention to this coding area as I said before next we continue with the sprue A so here I will not be zooming out because we get also quite interesting parts which are worth checking closer maybe we can even zoom in so here you can see the wing parts and the wing parts division is somewhat classic but uh, different from what we are used to see in modern kits because as you can see these are just two halves and ailerons they will work as a guiding elements again and flaps are promoted as you can see here again uh, really nice recess panel lines they are not uh, too shallow so you shouldn't be worried about the layers of paint and primer of course do it in the reasonable amounts but still it's not uh, too uh, I would say easy to cover it with the paint and primer here we continue with the tail wing and also the nose air intake uh, frontal section or frontal panel so it is molded as a single piece part which is really great because at least in this area you won't get any seams and gaps and that's the separate rudder by the way if I flip it over here we have also 
the wing tips which are working as a guiding elements so i completely forgot about this feature but as you can see this whole corner will be actually guiding this half into the right spot so it's quite a smart design which should sim simplify the overall alignment and i think it is important because even though this is a 170 second scale aircraft here you can see comparison with my hand this is quite large part next we continue with the sprue well b as far as you can see why i was trying to find the letter because here we have some tabs and here is the letter so it's not that easy to find but that's the final gray plastic sprue and here we have the mix of various parts and so the first thing that you can notice is that we get um, some parts in several versions and this is because we get them uh, for different boxings so here you have to pay attention on which particular type you need for your build because it will be necessary for building the precise copy of the aircraft you would like to build and of course the overall molding quality looks fine here by the way you can see the cockpit walls and i think it's worth zooming in so that you can see what we are talking about here so those parts look fine out of the box so you get a lot of pre-molded features but do not forget that you can also enhance it with the aftermarket P, which is really uh, useful in this aircraft, even with the closed canopy. It should be visible if you apply some extra minor P parts. And for open cockpit, in my opinion, it's a must have. Next, we continue with the clear plastic sprue. So here we get the canopy parts. Of course, you can open the canopy on your aircraft. So it's just a matter of installing all of those parts and maybe getting the masks because masks are not included here so you will have to get them separately i think special hobby produces them we even reviewed it so you can get it if you would like to together with this kit next we continue with this uh, plastic bag and decals so decals they do not have any mention where they are coming from but from what i can see here the printing quality looks completely fine so here you can check it closer we even get the seat belt decals so if you are fine with decals in the cockpit i know some modelers who are trying to get the p at all costs but if you are fine with decals this should be okay for out of the box build and of course it's always welcome to see the stencils included in 170 second scale because still in 2023 some brands are skipping on the stencils in such scale so again the printing quality is also decent here Next we continue with the assembly manual, so here I will have to close the lenses a bit so that you won't be blinded by this white color. And as you can see it's a small color printed brochure, we have short history and in English and Czech languages. Then we continue with the parts map, uh, some parts will stay untouched, so that's why I was saying that you have to pay attention on what should be installed on your particular version. Assembly process starts with the cockpit and straight away we are using decals in case you don't want to use P parts of course. Next we continue with the cockpit walls, we join fuselage half together and here we join the wing halves together. Again you have to plan in advance how you paint these wheel wells because as you can see afterwards it might be a bit tricky and by the way this is the cockpit floor so also something to remember because once you install the fuselage on the wing then it will be really hard to reach then we continue with landing gear wheels you can replace them with the cmk accessories so that's also something to consider and here we have an option between the cooling flaps they can be in open or closed position and also you can see here the propeller installation so we have the camouflage a it's written plane and pilot history. I wonder why it was written there, because the camouflage A is here. But on the next page, we also have the option for installing the external fuel tanks and bombs on the pylons. And of course, to open the canopy or close the canopy, it will be your decision. Next, we have this marking option A, as I, as I said before, and that's the marking option B. We have the short history note here, stenciling guide and that's pretty much all so only two marking options this is really unusual i would say but no well nobody stops you from getting something different in form of the aftermarket decals 
Here we have some other kits in 170 second scale. We reviewed the BF109 from this brand, so it's also quite nice for its scale, and I would say it's one of the best in 170 second scale today. And here we have some other Warhawks in 170 second scale, and whole range of the accessories from CMK. That's what I was talking about. If you would like to have more features, you can go for this stuff, and it will definitely enhance the appearance. So this kit should be already av available, and you can get it on official special hobby website and the price is quite decent you can get it together with the cmk add-ons so it might be a really good combo and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye